Now let's set up the second piece with time and billing, and that is expense items. To set up expense items, once again we come here to maintain inventory items, and we want to set up items that we're going to expense through time and billing and pass through and charge to either our customers or reimburse to our employees. So we're going to set up an inventory item for sprinkler parts. We're going to call it S parts. Now we come over here to item class. This is very important. Scroll down to the bottom and select <coughs> charge item. Next, let's put in a brief description that we can use on sales invoices. Sprinkler parts. Here, let's leave the sales account to 40000 And our price level, let's leave it at zero because it's always going to be different. Now we're ready to use expense items through time and billing. Let's come here under tasks, time and expense, expense tickets. Here's our expense tickets window. Our sprinkler repairman, Alex, had some expenses related to one of his jobs. It was the job on March 15th. Here we can see all of our charge items. This is our sprinkler parts. We select it and we select the customer that these parts were for. Hensley Park Apartments. Next, we can put in a description that will appear on the invoice. Three sprinkler heads. Here we want to put quantity and what the unit price that we're going to charge to the customer is. We're going to charge them $29.95 for a total amount of $89.85. Let's save this expense ticket. Note, we can enter expense tickets for subcontract vendors, for example. If we subcontracted out our sprinkler repairs and our vendor submitted expense tickets, we would enter them here as well. Next, we're ready to bill for this time and for these expense tickets.